Hey, what's going on guys? So the day has come. This whole calling area here is gonna be going bye-bye. Um, basically, it broke off. It's pieced down on the portion there that actually holds the whole colony up. Broke off because of the weight, I guess. Fell on top of the torches. Uh, torches are fine now, but you can see the battle scars of the Monty, Pop, M Monty Cap and the Digi, like all around here. So I have a guy, he wants it. He loves buying large colonies of uh, corals. So he's gonna come over, pick that up. That way this Christmas Monty can now be, um, you know, get a lot more light and all the dead area in the back there can now start greening up and, you know, red polyps can start popping out. You can see already right here, how the torch is already doing damage to it because of the fact that it's already touching. But um, definitely this piece is gonna be gone here. And I'm gonna go ahead and just keep this th remaining this, the way it is. And I was gonna get rid of this little colony of Monty Cap, but I decided I'm just gonna keep that since I already, you know, trimmed that out. But i um, gonna frag out a piece of red planet in my bedroom tank. I'm gonna put a nice little good three inch piece right there and let that grow out, let that grow out. You know, the red planet's cool. The reds, the, you know, greens, and sometimes you get a little bit of a yellowish orange hue to it. Looks nice also. So um, that's what I'm gonna do. Guys coming over in just a bit to pick it up and it's gonna be, you know, quite a big cut in coral space. So there's gonna be a lot more swimming room for fish and that's gonna be awesome. All right, guys, so we'll be back. All right guys, so this is how the tank's looking now. You can see I actually got the colony out. A uh, guy came over and picked it up. Um, wanted to give me a little something for it, accepted it. So basically uh, what he likes, he likes the fact that I just be able to grow out colonies. He loves big colonies. He's come here before and bought things from me before. And um, I give him a lot of freebies like the green nephneas that are growing in my Achilles tank and a few other corals that I just feel like are just growing a little bit out of control and just give him some of those but he is interested in some zoas we're going to talk again and he's going to come pick up some more zoas for me but um you can see how this has changed over here um got the little uh, what's called sps coral right here this little green slimer coral and um this now big old monty colony is gone and it had some dg on there also so now I got this right here. I decided not to put the red planet there. I decided to go ahead and just remove the torch from this area and put this torch colony up here. And you see all this green Christmas uh, Monty on this end here. Believe it or not, you're gonna see all of this just grow back to green color over all this white dead area here is gonna just color up. You're gonna start seeing it green up and then you're gonna start seeing all these little red polyps around just start popping out. And you're gonna see this area, where is it? This area here that was getting stung by the torch here, uh, that's gonna heal up and that's gonna be all green. So in the future, you're gonna see all of this green. In two weeks time, you're gonna see this basically turn green. In about a month's time, this is all gonna be green again with red polyps, which is gonna look nice. And I'm just gonna leave this bear here. I'm not gonna put anything there. I'm just gonna go ahead and let these guys grow. This guy's kind of growing up, so I'll just let him grow up it's right there. And um, yeah, so that's basically what's gonna be happening in this tank here. Um, just uh, remember last time I put the Walt Disney here, that's in my bedroom tank and decided to put this little slimmer coil here and it's healing up nicely. You could see how it was growing. It was growing like this because it was trying to trying to get to the light when it was being covered up in this area here so that way that's why you see it growing like that it's not growing straight up it's just trying to just trying to get light man trying to survive but other than that corals are doing great office tank is doing fine this is basically what i do i used to do this in my old um, 50 gallon tank years ago is just grow out stuff and then get rid of stuff and you know make room for some new things so when people think, oh man, his colony must have died or bleached out or it's gone, you know, he just put something back in its place. No, I just give them away, give them out. There are times when things do bleach out and things do die out, but the majority of the time it's just because of the fact that I just want to just change something or just let something else grow back in its place. Um, that's how I am, you know. I don't need to switch out my 
tank or switch out something new because things are overgrowing. Just like I said, I'm gonna be trimming this out here. I already trimmed out this over here. So, you know, it's just about, I guess, um, pruning, caretaking, and just making sure your animals are all good. But um, this is just the Herm, uh, just giving you a quick look on some displacement of coral and some replacement of coral. So there you go, guys. And just remember, uh, patience and stability, you know, nothing comes quickly, nothing good happens fast. Just be patient and don't overreact when things go wrong. Just uh, take it easy, take it slow. and. It's true what some people say, you know, not all of us has have the ability to be as patient as we would like to be, but as patient as you can be, you know, as patient as you can be. We're all human. We're all human. You know, the impulse to just want to do something is there. It's always there. You know, it's like looking at uh, it's like looking at something you want. You can't take and you can't get it. You can't take it, but you know you want it. Just be patient. It'll come. It'll come. You know, eventually you'll get it. Good things come to those who wait. All right, guys. Peace.